Well, Jimmer Mania, Jimmer Fever, whatever you want to call it, came to the NBA draft. The big question, where are you going to get drafted? And then you get drafted and you get traded. What's this whole thing been like for you? I know. It's been a whirlwind. It's been crazy. Um, you know, a lot of emotions came out tonight. And, uh, you know, it's just an exciting time for me and, and for my family and for everybody that's involved, been involved in my life up to this point. Um, you know, it, it was exciting to hear your name called, and then you have to wait for about two and a half hours before you can officially be called the king and go through the media circuit. So it was a, it was a weird night but uh, I had a great time. A lot of people are wondering how your game would adapt to the next level. Obviously, you're so successful in college. Then we find out that you were the first wide receiver in football in the state of New York. Uh, a lot of athletic ability. Do you think you surprised teams with your workouts? I think so. I think that's why I was able to be picked um, in this position. Um, they, they thought I was a lot more athletic than they thought originally, and uh, that was my intention to go into these workouts and work as hard as I can, show them I can uh, play on that end of the floor and uh, you know that I can be a quick guy in this league and um, can hold my own. So that's what, I was, that's what I was trying to do, and I think it was accomplished. What do you think you will accomplish in the NBA? What type of player do you think you'll be? You know, I think I could be a very good player, uh, you know, a guy that can start uh, in this league and uh, be a great player for a long time. You know, uh, I'll be a solid player, go out there and, and do anything I need to uh, in order to help the team win. And uh, that's the most important thing, getting victories. And, um, you know, I've been a winner my whole career so far, and uh, hopefully it'll, it'll continue in the NBA. You mentioned a winner your entire career. You also shared all those moments with your high school teammates, also your college teammates and all. What's this whole thing been like, especially these last few years at BYU? Uh, it's been crazy. It, it definitely was life-changing, especially this last year because of all the media attention and things that has, has been going along uh, You know, with being a, a top college athlete. Um, so it, it's been fun, and uh, I wouldn't change it for the world. Uh, you know, this is a, this is the position you want to be in as a basketball player when you when you dream about it when you're younger. You want to be in the NBA and have a great college career. Um, you don't realize how much comes with it, um, but uh, it's been a, it's been a blast for me, and I hope it continues. A big Jimmer Jam back at the Glens Falls Civic Center tonight. My buddy Bo, that I told you, I met. He's from Glens Falls. He want to make sure that uh, you're part of it. So. He, he made sure you had some dirt dogs, and maybe a long night, you got some to eat there. Are they really that good? Yeah, they are actually very, very good. Dirty John's, it's on South Street in Glens Falls. I've been here many, many times, and actually I'll probably be back next week, and I'll probably get some of these. <laughs> and we'll ship some for you to Sacramento. Congratulations. Have a great career. Yeah, thanks a lot, Craig. Appreciate it.